Okay, right. A uh, quick video going through the section C for the June 2018 paper. So, looking at this, what is the unit of frequency for alternating current? So, frequency, uh, frequency is measured in hertz. Uh, identify what component that allows current to flow in 1D. Uh, okay, so we're looking at then our diode. Right, rocking and rolling. Here we go. Okay. So electric motor, 110 volts, power rating 2 kilowatts, calculate the current drawn. So uh, power is equal to I times V. So we've got, oh, what happened there? So we've got 2 kilowatts. So we've got 2 kilowatts equals I times 110 volts, so therefore um, rearranging I is equal to uh, 2 kilowatts divided by our 110 volts um, gives us 18.2 uh, watts. Okay, so... Done that, done that, go and answer and put the units. Marvellous. What are we on to next? That was easy, wasn't it? On to capacitors. Capacitors. Uh, capacitors in parallel there. Okay. Right, so I'm going to reach from a former sheet. So I'm reach from a former sheet. So capacitors in parallel C1, C1 plus C2 plus C3. So I've got 68 microfarads plus 12 microfarads plus 47 microfarads. Adding all of them up gives me 127 microfarads. Total charge stored in the circuit. Okay, so QVC. So charge is equal to voltage times capacitance. It said that total charge in the circuit. So therefore, I'm going to go 110 volts times by my 127 microfarads that I've just worked out as my total capacitance. Would have been slightly different if I'd just been asked for charge on an individual capacitor. Um, so what's that? 13.97 uh, millicoulombs. Okay, right, let's see where we're going now. So... Explain the term conventional current flow in a DC circuit. So two marks, so we're looking for two points. Okay, so conventional current flow. So conventional current flow is going to flow uh, from positive voltage to the lesser voltage and in most cases it would be zero volts but okay so where have I whizzed on to now RMS voltage 110 calculate the peak okay so uh, voltage peak equals voltage RMS at times by root 2 so we've got a hundred times by root 2 gives us gives us 141.4 volts. Uh, calculate the average, so voltage average equals uh, 2 pi times by our peak voltage, so we've got 2 pi uh, times by 141.4 is equal to 90.2 volts. Okay, form factor, I think we're now doing calculations for the sake of doing calculations. Uh, but that's only my opinion. So form factor voltage RMS equals uh, voltage average. Um, yeah, please do use formula because I, I always make a mistake on, on this one if you don't use the formula. Um, so 100 is our RMS voltage we're given right at the start of the question. Okay. And we're just using the value that we just worked for our average voltage. So it gives us 1.1. 1 .1. Yay! Right. Oh, excellent. Look at this one. That's a nice one, isn't it? Right, let's just digest what's going in. So we've got, it's a bit of a complex circuit, so we need to, to work out what's happening in each of the loops. 
Okay, so we've got I1 here. Okay, that's our left hand loop. So what do we got? So we're looking to, to work out uh, if, uh, if we know the 12 volts and we can work out the voltages across each of the components because the voltage across each of the components if this was uh, if we didn't have this part of the circuit then we just say the voltage across there but the voltage across there equals that so we can use that same idea but looking at various aspects of the circuit so we've got oh, uh, 12 volts is equal to okay so we don't know the voltage across there but we know that it's that the voltage is is current times by the resistance Okay, so we've got these two resistors here. So we've got um, uh, 10 plus 2 ohms, and that's I1. Okay, and then if we look, this loop here continues around through that 6 ohm resistor. Through that 6 ohm resistor. But that 6 ohm resistor not only has I1 going through it, but it also has I2 going through it. Okay, so let's just tidy that up again a little bit. So we've got uh, 12i1 plus 6i1 plus 6i2. So again, a bit more tidying up. Equals 18i1 plus 6i2. Okay. And so that's my left hand loop. So that's my left. And my right hand loop, then same idea is we've got nine volts. That nine volts um, has got a four ohm resistor. No, it hasn't got a four ohm resistor, that's called R4. <laughs> it's got a 22 ohm resistor, um, and it's got I2 flowing through it, and then again, this. That flow there goes down through that 6 ohm resistor, uh, which has I1 and I2 going through it. So a bit of a tidy up. So 22I2 plus 6I1 plus 6I2. 9 volts equals um, 6I1 plus 28I2. Okay, so uh, I'm going to call that equation number one, and I'm going to call that equation number two. Now, that's the important. Getting to that point is the important bit because there, from there on, you can uh, you can use your calculator to to work out these simultaneous equations. Just plug them in uh, in simultaneous mode. Um, but um, uh, I'm going to going to do it by hand. So if I um, Multiply equa equation two uh, by three, then, um, then I'm going to get 27 volts is equal to 18i1 plus 84i2. And then I can then take, and we'll call this, we'll, we'll call this equation, we'll call this equation three. So then I can take equation 3 and subtract equation 1 from it. Um, so I got uh, 27 minus 12 is 15. So 15 volts is equal to, um, so 18 minus 18 is, is 0. So the I, I ones cancel out, which, and then 84 minus 6, um, 78 I2. So uh, 15 divided by 78 equals I2, um, which equals 193.2 milliamps. Uh, I'm gonna, am I going to run out of space? So then I can take that and substitute in to equation 1. So into into one, so that answer. So I've got 12 volts is equal to 18 I1 plus 6 times by 193.2 milliamps, because that's what we've just said um, that I2 is equal to. So um, that gives me. Uh, 
uh, doing several steps at once. So 10.84 is equal to 18i1. So all I've done is uh, I've worked that out and then I've just um, subtracted it from my 12 volts. Um, so 10.84 eight four divided by my eighteen equals I one um which equals six oh two point six milliamps. Well telling a story. So they asked us not what to know what the current through R three is. Um which is I one plus I two so I've got um, 602.6 milliamps plus, what did we say I2 was? There it is, 193.2 milliamps equals 795 milliamps. Oh, not a lot of space to do all of that. Um, the important thing is to get the this um, the loop one and loop two equation right, and then it's up to you: elimination, substitution, electronic brain, because your calculators will do um, simultaneous equations, uh, and you can then sort it out yourselves. And it looks like we're at the end of the paper.